Chapter six focuses on financial strategy. Um, financial strategy is a critical part of the retail planning process and many strategic decisions regarding finance are decided before the retailer even opens their doors. Uh, financial analysis is used to monitor performance of the retail establishment, assess reasons why performance is above or below expectations, and financial analysis can also be used to provide insights into future actions. Uh, so we're going to talk about in this chapter how retailers analyze uh, their financial successes and failures, uh, how they develop their financial statements, and then how they can use those statements to make strategic decisions. Let's talk first about setting some retail objectives and goals. Uh, we looked a little bit at retail objectives and goals when we talked about uh, retail strategy in chapter five. Um, and so we know that without objectives, there is nothing for the retailer to measure performance against. Um, generally speaking, in retail, there are three categories of goals and objectives that retailers might set when they are first starting to plan their establishment. So obviously retailers have financial objectives. For most retail entrepreneurs, uh, they want to make money. Um, and the most appropriate financial performance measure um, for retailers is ROA or return on assets. And we'll go into a lot of detail on ROA this chapter, um, but let me just give you this brief example to explain why ROA is so important. Imagine that we have two competing retailers and they each earned a profit of $1 million in 2015. Um, so they both achieved their profitability goal. Retailer A had to spend $5 million on assets in order to make that $1 million. So they spent $5 million in order to make $1 million in profit. That retailer's ROA is 20%. And don't worry about the calculation yet. We'll get there. But just note that his ROA was 20%. Retailer B also made a profit of $1 million in 2015, but he had to spend $40 million in order to make that $1 million. His ROA is 2.5%. So both retailers made a $1 million in the same year. Um, retailer A spent $5 million. Retailer B spent $40 million. So which retailer is actually more financially successful? The answer is retailer A. Uh, so retailer A had a much higher ROA. And so when you're a retailer, you want that higher ROA because that shows that you are a bit more successful. You're using your assets more effectively to make money. Um, so that is ROA and a example of how financial objectives are looked at. And like I said, we'll go way deeper into ROA later in this chapter, um, but just know for now that retailers do set financial objectives they use ROA to measure success, and the higher the ROA, the better. Let's talk about another category of objectives that retailers have. Uh, retailers, when they go into business, generally will have some societal objectives um, in addition to their financial objectives. Societal objectives are geared towards making the world a better place. Um, so this might be um, a retailer who has an objective of providing employment opportunities in a low-income area. Um, or maybe they want to provide employment opportunities for, for minorities or for veterans or for people with disabilities. Um, so some retailers go into business to try to uh, make that world a better place. So, so another type of societal objectives might be a retailer who wants to um, only sell environmentally friendly products or a retailer who plans on supporting community events. Um, now, these objectives are much more difficult to measure uh, so in terms of whether or not you're successful, there's not exactly an equation like there would be to measure ROA, um, but uh, a retailer will look at the end of the year to see if they met their societal objectives in addition to their financial objectives. Another category of objectives that most retail entrepreneurs have are personal objectives. Um, personal objectives are geared towards the individual who's opening the store. Um, so a lot, of, especially small independent retailers will have personal objectives. And so this is, you know, the self gratification, the status and the respect that you get from opening and running a business. Um, you know, a personal objective might be to retire by age 50. 
Um, and so that's why you want to open your own retail establishment. Or you might want to have a business that you can hand down to your children. Um, that'd be a personal objective. Uh, maybe you decide to open an outdoor equipment store because you love hiking and camping. Um, and so that helps fulfill your personal need of being close to that environment. Um, so a retailer, when they are establishing their retail business, is going to have, of course, financial objectives, but they're also going to have those societal and personal objectives. So in the next couple of lecture videos, what we're going to do is actually focus on um, the financial objectives and how we can be profitable. Um, but before we get there, I'd love to hear what um, some of your societal and personal objectives would be if you decided to open your own retail business. And so you can talk about that in the chapter six discussion boards.